Well, hello and welcome once again to the world of Zwift, here with your weekly prescription of Zwift goodness. So, let us see what the doctor has ordered this week. No, not that doctor. Nathan Gogo Guerra recons the mighty metropolitan of New York City. I drink a birthday cake. Dave Toll talks ZRL tactics. Kristen Armstrong returns to the coach's corner. And Matt Lieto gives us a blow-by-blow -blow account of this week's Z Pro Tri Racing. But first, it's that time of the show. Yes, you guessed it. Like this video to keep me in gainful employment. Subscribe to the channel for all things Zwift and click that bell to be notified each and every time World of Zwift goes live, as well as when racing is being broadcast live in the week. I'll wait whilst you do it. <clears throat> Done? Sitting comfortably? Excellent. Then let's begin. This week, Zwift launched the Black Celebration Series, a year-long series of rides and runs highlighting the history, athletes, heritage, and joy the black community brings to Zwift from around the world. Group rides and runs will be led by featured athletes and will take place on the mighty Metropolitan Route. We'll have a course recon of that route later in the show. A massive shout out to Florian Neuschwander, who set a new 100 kilometer world treadmill run record on Zwift in a ridiculous time of six hours, 26 and eight seconds. Ice baths for him for the rest of 2021. Staying with ludicrously fast runners, Thursday saw Olympian Samo Farah take on athletes, including Fabian Cancellara and Paula Radcliffe in a handicapped chase for World Cancer Day. It was broadcast all over the world and it came down to just 22 seconds as Mo crossed the line in running shoes with rugby legend Austin Healy snapping at his heels on his bike just behind him. Go on, Austin! Now, professional triathlete Paula Finley popped in for a chat with the Power Up Tri podcast team, telling the team exactly how she won the top prize at the gruelling Daytona Triathlon. And finally, congratulations to Matthew van der Poel, not for winning the Cyclocross World Championships in sand and seawater last weekend, but for doing so after completing stage six of the Tour de Zwift, just three hours before lining up on the start. That's how you do it, Matthew. Drop me a DM and we'll go for a ride together, both indoors and out. I'll show you how you cross. Now, over the past month, thousands of miles have been peddled on Zwift to raise money for the fight against motor neurone disease. And this week, the £1 million mark was passed. A wonderful milestone if you're further around the world. That's $1.4 million. I'm joined by the Pied Piper and international rugby legend Rob Wainwright, who's on the Isle of Col, west coast of Scotland, just off the west coast. Just talk to me about the charity and the reason you are raising money. Well, Doddy's, Doddy's one of my, uh, my Scotland and British and Irish Lions teammates. Uh, he was, you know, I, one of my best pals from my international career. So, yeah, Dodie was diagnosed four years ago with, with MND and um, just basically faced straight up to it and said, this isn't good enough, there's no treatments for this, let's find it. They've raised seven million in the last four years and they are funding so many research projects to try and find break, <laughs> breakthrough. Well, let's talk about the challenge then, because you say this week you went past the million pound point, which is a, a, a tremendous amount of money to add to what is a great cause. Yes. What was the challenge you were actually doing? Well, we we literally just, it wasn't a cycling challenge. It was just a take some exercise during January through until the, the kickoff of the Calcutta Cup, which is the very beginning of the Six Nations Rugby. So it's a five week challenge. And Zwift has been involved because Chris, Sir Chris Hoy, has been doing a Sunday morning race. We've actually had a, a Thursday evening race as well. Uh, so we've had two races a, a, a week. The Chris Hoy race has been hugely uh, successful and very well supported. Uh, we had Cav and, and Geraint came along to join us. Just talk about the island that you're on, that you live on. Okay, we, I live on a 13-mile long island. It's about three miles wide. It's got 200 people living on it. It's a three-hour ferry journey from the mainland. Uh, and it's pretty windy. It's pretty sunny in the summer. It's got amazing sea life around it. It's very picturesque. And uh, we farm about a quarter of it. So uh, that's, that's how I keep myself busy. So Rob, tell me, how much of that can you ride bikes on? Well, we've got 18 miles of tarmac on coal. So we've, we've ridden it. There's a few of us that cycle on coal. So we've got, we even have a, a cycling club, really? uh, which has about five, five or six members. 
uh, on it. And it's been a sufficient amount of time out to prepare for some big events. I've done Race Across America in, in teams twice now. Uh, and um, we've, we've done two rides at this time of year uh, for Doddy from Murrayfield to Twickenham or Twickenham to Murrayfield, which is 500 miles in 48 hours. So uh, it has been, it's been sufficient to train on, but having Zwift has made a huge difference. And this winter, most of my cycling has been indoors and I'm a little addicted to racing on Zwift, as I'm sure many of the people watching are. Rob, you've done amazing stuff. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me. And I, I wish we could have got a shot of the puppy. That's all I wanted, to see the puppy that came back I, again. I can, I can fetch the puppy, no it, problem. Hey, what a way to end the interview, if you can. Oh, there she is. What a beautiful puppy. What's there the name? There we go. We got wrapped around all my stuff. Come on, Moss. All right. <laughs> Hey. Come on, get your head up. Get your head up. There we go. Oh, oh she's, she's a bit too shy. Uh, well, listen, what a great way to end the interview. The first puppy or dog we've had on the World of Swift. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much, OJ, and I, I will see you on Swift. 2021 has kicked off with a bang and we're already nearing the end of our Grand Tour de Zwift. My personal favourite stage was the Out de Zwift one, which was stage three. It was nice to have some fellow heavy breathers as I chased the 60 minute ascent. I missed it by 12 seconds. I'm still gutted. But if you have missed a stamp in your orange Zwift passport, never fear because Makeup Week is just around the corner. Makeup stages will be available from February 13th to the 20th after stage eight finishes. Now, during that one week, we'll host events to cover all eight stages. Event slots are limited, so make sure you get in your rides and your runs. Still to come on the world of Zwift, we've got Mighty Metropolitan, Rider Recon, Z Pro Tri Highlights, and drinkable birthday cake. In my pursuit of culinary excellence in a gel-based ride fuel, this week I've turned my attention to that classic event food, the one which all kids love more than anything on the planet, even their parents, the food stuff that many of us put in extra miles on the road to warrant the thing that is the centerpiece of any coffee stop. That's right, cake, and more precisely, birthday cake. So this week, in honor of my two favorite Colombians of all time, Nairo Quintana and Shakira, who both had birthdays this week, I bring you the goo birthday cake gel. Happy birthday to me. Okay, so let's open it up. Top rips off easily. Um, it is a 25, 25 years uh, anniversary edition. First little squeeze. Okay, I can definitely taste cake. Very gelatinous, but then all gels are. Another little shot. I think I'm thinking Victoria sponge with sprinkles on top. That is not too bad. In fact, I'm going to drain the pouch. That is a winner. This week, the ZRL virtual caravan pulled into one of my favourite places to ride in Zwift and IRL, and that is Harrogate in Yorkshire. And we knew it was going to be a punchy course, and oh my, did it deliver. Here's the highlights. Week four this week, the rolling luscious green hills of Harrogate. 41.6 kilometers, five and a half percent average gradient. We already lost about 25 riders. Already started to see riders struggling to stay on the pace. This group really starting to thin out now. Lethbridge comes round Kulchinski, just nabbed maximum points on the line there. Eberman takes the win from Alice Lethbridge and Catherine Curie. 20 riders and then the gap to the next group on the road is a massive 24 seconds. They're making light work of this time. They're moving up it so, so quickly. Lethbridge from Hubak. Hino are not taking any chances at all. Hoovering up these points out on the road. We have 17 riders in this front group. This is that steep part of the climb. This is where the gradient starts to bite. Loudon, who's going to take maximum points here. 550 metres to go. Williams, Curie, this is amazing. MacGyver takes the win. MacGyver primes her power up and her sprint to perfection. What a superb race that was.
week four men's racing now. They are absolutely romping up this climb. Some massive numbers being thrown down. That's a surge up and over the top. And is that going to be Freddie Ovid? It looks like it is. The Australian is back and he is in full effect. Last week's winner is crushing souls out here. We've still got a pretty sizable group here. You can see it's starting to thin out now. A couple more watts here. Freddie Ovid will be right behind Chris McGlinchey there. Ottima from Hug from Ikeda there. Back onto the climb and a few riders on this steeper section. The ones who've got the featherweight power-ups using them wisely here. There are still 60 riders in this group. It's unraveling. Freddie Ovid is up near the front. 5K to go. We've still got around 55 riders in this front group just showing the depth. Yasin moving up to the front. Look at this, it's Matteo Cigala. Harvard Glendas just ahead of Freddy Ovet and the ever-present Lano Riasan. That's his third podium of season two. That was a blanket Ooh. close finish here. <laughs>Joining me now to pull apart every last sinew of the Zwift racing action, like an online version of CSI, it is the master of metaphors, live from downtown Payne City. It is Dave Bolt. <laughs> hey, Dave. Hey, good day, OJ. I was a big fan of you mentioning Payne City, downtown Payne City, over the commentary a couple of days ago. Thanks. It's not a beautiful place, is it? <laughs> no. But let's talk about the racing this week in the ZRL, because... Pio Auto seemed to be the big story, so dominant for the first few weeks. What happened? Ultimately, they had a couple riders with a, a, a technical early in the race, and then they didn't play their cards correctly with the riders that remained in the finale, and they took a major hit out there. So that's the big change. Canyon moves into the lead there, but that's going to give the other teams hope because you see that even the mighty can fall in the ZRL. Indeed, we have seen that. Uh, talking to teams that are looking strong, we know Canyon are now on the top of the standings. Uh, Legion of LA seem to be getting better and better. Is it Freddie Overt who has really changed the way they're racing? Because he seems to be the man who's animating everything. I think, uh, as they say, when you change your, uh, your attitude, bringing in a new rider who really loved Zwift racing, talking about Freddie, that uh, spread to the rest of the team. They've all gone up another level or maybe even two levels. I think one of the most exciting things in the ZRL right now is watching the rise of Legion of LA. Now, uh, Hino we know. Dominant again. They took the win again. How do we talk about the women's racing without talking about Hino? Easy. Let's talk about the hottest thing to come out of Scotland since microwaved haggis. That would be Beth MacGyver with a stunning win. Lou Bates, sensational. There's a lot of strong riders that are just getting their teams together around them that are going to give uh, the H team a big challenge. One name that always comes up quite a lot is Christian Kulczynski. She was at the front of that race for the longest race that we've done in the ZRL, at least the hardest race. Um, she didn't manage at the end. I think she dropped down to about eighth or ninth position. What is it she needs to do differently? Because physically, she's possibly the strongest rider in there. It's a combination of strength and smarts because these are some clever athletes. That, and there's a lot of techniques that they have. These techniques in real life also apply in Zwift. So once Kolchinski has a chance to have uh, kind of gone through her master class of racing, which season two of Zwift Racing League is going to be, she's now more than a contender. She's a favorite. Exactly that, Dave. Uh, just finally, looking at the table in the women's division, a uh, high note, dominant as always as we reach the halfway point. Is anyone overhauling them? No, I hate to say it. Uh, uh, unless uh, the United Kingdom has a complete internet shutdown for a three-week period. I can't imagine that uh, anybody would beat Hino. And that speaks to the depth on that team. It's not two stars, it's five stars. And you really see it in the team time trial where we'll be next week in New York on the Mighty Metropolitan where they are so evenly matched at such a high level. I can't crack the code. If someone can, let me know. Dave, a pleasure as always. Thank you very much for your insights. Love it, OJ. Thank you. Next up, our weekly lesson in all things Zwift. This time round, we're covering the letter T, the letter Z, and the number 60.8. Any ideas? No, me neither. 
T is for TT, time trial, testing, chrono, the race of truth, or whatever you want to call it. There's one thing for sure. There's nowhere to hide when it's just you and the clock. And if TTs are your thing, or you want to try one out, then we've got some great options for you. If you want to lay down your best time against the clock, use that Zwift Companion app on your phone and filter it by time trial. Head over to that garage and pick a time trial bike. And if you got some drops to spare, get yourself a sweet set of arrow wheels. Once you're in the pins, you'll notice things are a little different. Riders go off individually, so you'll need to wait your turn. The yellow area in front of the pins act like a start ramp and gets you up to 20 miles per hour immediately. So there's no need for those super hard sprints off the line here. After that, it's all down to you. Pick a gear, a cadence, and a power you sustain and dig in. Z for Zwift Power. For those of you who like to race, Zwift Power is most likely a familiar friend already. For those of you who don't race or haven't checked it out yet, why not give Zwift Power a go? You'll find power data from every ride you'll do, plus route analysis, race results, and rider rankings. Whether you're training or competing, Zwift Power is full of data points to help take your Zwifting up a level. 60.8 is for 60.8 miles of a Grand Fondo during the Zwift Fondo series. A Fondo is basically a giant group ride, and whether you're new to Zwift or a seasoned rider, these are rides that anyone can enjoy. Ride at your own pace, with friends, make new friends, or aim to hit specific times. It's just up to you. Plus, anyone who finished a Fondo or any distance unlocks the month's Fondo kit. Now who doesn't like a new jersey? I know I do. So look out for a Fondo this month, or next, grab some friends and enjoy the ride. It's so officially February and my overly ambitious New Year's resolution of losing 40 kilos and becoming a lightweight climber already out the window. So it's time to set some achievable and efficient plans for the year. And what better way to do that than with a workout plan? But which to choose? Our resident Olympic champion and all-round cycling legend Kristin Armstrong is back in her coach's corner to break them down. Hi everyone, it's Kristen Armstrong back with Coach's Corner and I'm here to talk to you about structured training plans. Structured training plans are the best. They provide a clear, detailed schedule and plan helping you take the guesswork out of your everyday ride. If you have a goal and you want to accomplish it, there's no better way than to keep on track. Even looking through the workouts and training plans on Zwift, there are so many to choose from. And part of what you might have noticed is this: these letters SP. Well, it stands for stress points. It's a number that combines the duration and intensity of a workout. It estimates a mental stress. If you plan on doing any structured Zwift training, the first step is determining your functional threshold power. I mean, this is called your FTP. Remember, the best way to determine this is through one of our tests. We have a shorter 20 minute test, which really is just a shorter warm up, And then we have one called the ramp test. You have your FTP and now it's time to choose your plan. There are so many plans to choose from. A few of my favorite plans are the back to fitness plan where one of my favorite workouts within that is called Fitness Builder. There's Crit Crusher with a workout called Micro Burst. There's Gravel Grinder where there's a workout that's race simulation. I mean, where else do you get race simulation within a training plan? On Swift, the training plans are flexible, automatically adjusting to your fitness level and adjusting to your plans when and where they change. The greatest part of all is that when you choose a plan while riding on Zwift, you never train alone. There are always thousands of other riders out there doing the same thing you are. So what are you waiting for? Get signed up, get set up on a training plan today. There's no better time. Z Pro Tri is back. Let's head over to Matt Lieto to find out what went down this week. Z Pro Tri Series is back. We went to the Bologna TT course to start it off. Hill Climb, Mass Start TT. No surprise in the women's field, we have Lucy Charles Barclay absolutely dominate. In the men's race, it was Anthony Costas that did a similar move, but then short transition, the athletes had to go on a run. Matt Hansen went 20 points, got as many points as he could. Different tactic, we saw Jackson Laundry. We thought maybe he was struggling. Lucy Charles Barclay, she let Melanie Moore go. Melanie got 20 points. Then a large group, including Lucy Charles Barclay, got 16. Tried to save their legs a little bit. Jackson Laundry, 
did not spend too much energy on the run, saved his legs for the sprints, got a bunch of sprint points, and ended up winning the first race in this year's Z Pro Try. Lucy Charles Barkley absolutely dominated, almost won every sprint, won the finish sprint. Uh, she ended up taking the points for the day and ended up walking away with the, the win for this week. Be sure to tune in next week because we got more pain and more suffering for these pro athletes from all over the planet. So please tune in and can't wait to see you then. Next week, the ZRL swaps the rolling hills of Yorkshire for the rolling glass highways of mighty Metropolitan. Uh, ahead of this, it's time for us to open up our exercise books and swat up on the ins and outs and the downs and the ups of that course. Over to friend of the show and all-round Zwift community legend Nathan Guerra for the Rider Recon. Hey everybody, Nathan Guerra here. We're out on the mighty Metropolitan for week number five in the Zwift Racing League. We are doing a team time trial for 20K in total. Let's go check it out and see how this gets done. Right out of the pens, a left-hand turn, immediately it goes into a false flat. Usually when you do jump out of the pens, getting speed immediately is so incredibly important. 2.6 kilometers in, a little bit of a downhill section. It's pretty sh sharp. You can get into a super tuck. Make sure you time it right because you're gonna have an immediate right-hand turn into the first pretty sharp little climb onto what I call the rainbow road. This first little climb, we're about three, three and a half K in. 10% it kicks up to pretty quickly. I make sure everybody sticks together because the 10% you can definitely find somebody off the back. At the top level, especially in TTT for Zwift Racing, almost every single team has a director sportif. If you can get a friend or somebody who knows what they're doing with the tactics of a TTT on Zwift, they gotta tell you where to be, when to be there, and how to be there really important. Like any bike race, there's going to be gain or loss when it goes uphill. At 8.8 .8 kilometers, the road is going to fork and we're going to go right to go up the back side of the KOM. Going into the KOM, your stronger riders should be on the front. They can carry the team through that flatter section and then back into this next kick. On the downhill, you can super tuck for a good amount of time. So you're going to get a full recovery. And so you can really risk a lot on this KOM over the top because of that recovery. 57 kilometers per hour is the magic number for a super tuck. So the goal when you come over the top is get to 57 as quickly as we can. So at 15 kilometers, we come off the glass road and we're gonna swing a right-hand turn back into the park. There's a little bump, but then right into a downhill 6%. Lots of little undulations through this section. You can really gain some speed if you hit them right. All right, we're getting into the last few kilometers. Now you can start thinking about putting a rider on the front who's gonna be the sacrificial lamb. They just go to the front, empty themselves, and you let them go. At 19.5, we're gonna take a sharp left. We're into the final few hundred meters. It's gonna be a sharp downhill and then an up into the final sprint. Oh my goodness, ha, ha, and there it is. Oh, good little 700 kick, cross the line, and you're done. Well, there you have it, Mighty Metropolitan, 20 kilometers, TTT, working together. Hope this helps you gel and uh, get that team ethos going as best you possibly can in the ZRL week number five. And there we have it, another bumper edition of the World of Zwift is done and indeed dusted. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and join me next Friday for even more Zwift goodness. Until then, I'm off to get the missing stamps in my Tour de Zwift passport. I'll see you next week. Ride on.